Well, about 15 minutes ago, a toy drive wrapped up at the Pulse Nightclub Memorial. Yeah, the community stepping up to spread love this holiday season while also honoring one of the victims. News 6's Catherine Silver has been out there all day long as people dropped off some items. Catherine. Toys, ornaments, holiday cards, and other handmade mementos are now on the way to families in our community. This is the sixth annual Amanda's Angels Legacy of Love toy drive. It was started by her mother, who wanted a way to honor her daughter and the other victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting with acts of love and kindness during the holiday season. The most wonderful time of the year is also a difficult time for some. Here's going to be the set of for Amanda's cake. Myra Alvear's daughter, Amanda, was killed in the Pulse nightclub shooting. This toy drive held at the interim memorial site honors her legacy on her heavenly birthday. Six years and six months since 49 people lost their lives. I have learned their stories, their life. They're wonderful. They were giving. Amanda was a very giving person. This legacy is about love, Alvear says. A focus on giving rather than grief this Christmas. That's what brings me joy, in be able to help. The goal is 10,000 toy donations this year. They'll go to the Howard Phillips Center for Children and Families. That's going to help so many children that have so many different needs. Advocates say the need is always growing along with their mission to help. What we do at the Howard Phillips Center, we provide special needs children with services and also children who have been abused and neglected. We can put them all here. Helping families have a happy holiday and honoring Amanda Alvear and the other Pulse victims with action. I don't know what I would be if I don't do this. So it's important for me to keep doing it, to keep helping people. Alvear says in the season of giving, this gives her hope. I have faith. I have faith in people. And I know if we unite and we work together, we stand together, we can make a lot of difference. You can still drop off donations at the center locations in both Orlando and Kissimmee. We have a wish list and more information about how you can help on ClickOrlando.com. I'm live in Orlando. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.